Yeah, right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going through an article that's on the drivetunemedia.com website. Link to the article in the video description. So this is what I did to make a DIY knock sensor system. It's only for audio, and the goal was to be able to wear headphones and to hear the engine combustion chamber if it was knocking or not. So this is what I did. So to start off the article, I've put a video where you can compare So I've detailed you some limits of the system that I've made. It has uh, no visual output, so if you want something that flashes a LED, this is not the way to go. Um, and it can't connect to an external ECU, and it doesn't give any data login either. So let's get into it. What parts do we need to make this DIY knock sensor? I love it in here. You only need to buy two things but maybe four, depending on the output of the knock sensor that you're using. So first of all here, I've put a bare male mic jack, because what we're going to do is can make our own mic cable, which we're going to connect directly to the knock sensor on the engine. So we need to the plug to plug into our laptop. So second of all, we need three meters of a mono mic cable. And then three and four, if your knock sensor is going to be out outputting more than two volts, you should make a voltage divider to reduce the voltage. I've put a link in the article, click on that, that shows you how to make it and uh, what resistors to use. And then I'll put here, if you're not sure about what voltage to your knock sensor is output, then, then just get a multimeter and uh, just measure the output, very simple. So that's all the hardware. So now we come onto the software. Fortunately, it's all free, like I say here. We need APO equalizer software. Again, there's a link in the article Click on that, that will take you to a source forge where you can download it, equalizer APO. The second piece of software we need is um, VLC media player software. Um, and then I've actually put it here, now I read it, the ability to tap into the factory knock sensor. So you could use a posi tap, which is uh, probably the most reliable way I found of tapping into wires. I really like that one. You can use the splice crimps, I suppose they can work, but I found them to be a bit unreliable, so I personally don't like them. Um, and then probably things that you've got lying around, some headphones, and obviously the laptop that you're going to install the software on, and where you're going to plug in the microphone and headphone. About the laptop, it needs to have a mic and a mic socket and a separate a, a separate headphone socket so how to build your diy knock sensor so first of all we need to wire the headphone jack to the cable so so there's a wiring diagram there if you want to know how to do that which pole and which part of the jack is negative and which is positive um also you know if you're using a voltage divider obviously wire that into the um wire that into the wire as well uh, then we're going to tap the other end of the mic cable into your existing knock sensor cables or if, or as I said if you fit a dedicated knock sensor you know wire into that obviously so that's going to be the physical part sorted out we've got the cable going into the laptop here and we've got the cable going into the sensor here so that's so now we've got our signal source sorted out the next step is to go and download APO and VLC, install them onto your laptop. The next thing you need to do is find the knock frequency of the engine. So I put a link here to a knock frequency calculator, and that will tell you what hertz that we need to be listening to. Step five, plug in the knock sensor cable into the laptop. And step number six, open APO equalizer and customize the equalizer so it enhances the knock frequency plus minus 400 hertz and reduces all other frequencies. So I've just given a quick example here. Say the knock frequency for the engine comes out at 7,200 hertz. We are going to enhance the levels from 6,800 hertz to 7,600. And we're gonna reduce the volume of all other frequencies. So when you go into APO Equalizer, you get this option here. You get this menu, if you like. Add your um, mic input, and then you, you've got a uh, graphic equalizer along the bottom. I think you've got two choices. You, yeah, you have. You've got a 15-band or a 31-band graphic equalizer. So you can see what I've done here. This is a zero, 
and I've just reduced all the frequencies that are not that are not the knock frequencies basically everything below 6800 hertz and i've done the same then for all other frequencies above 7600 hertz and i've just enhanced a little bit 6800 to 7600 which is this bit here just to make them a bit louder so the only thing that we're going to be hearing now from that knock sensor is the are noises that are in the same frequency as engine knock Again, if you want a, an example of what this sounds like, go to the video at the top of the article on the Drive Tune website, click play, and that will uh, show you uh, what it sounds like. So that's the, the frequency setup. And then we go to um, Open VLC Player. We go and select Capture Device as Microphone, and then we press Play. Step 8, we connect our headphone to the laptop, put on our headphones, and we are now listening to the knock sensor output in real time. You can adjust the gain on the APO equalizer software to get the volume that you need. So you've got this uh, little gauge here that makes it louder or quieter. The beauty of this solution is that you can listen to the knock sensor signal in the background while you use the, use the laptop for other things. We're all set up. We'll listen to the knock sensor signal in real time. We need to remember a few things. There could be a slight delay in hearing the engine sound. So the engine might actually be knocking before we hear it on the headphones. That, this is something that you're going to have to experiment with. When I did it, there was a slight delay. When you do it, maybe there won't be. I said you, you may need to adjust the frequencies given by the knock frequency calculator, depending on where the the knock sensor is located on your engine block, especially if you're using a, a dedicated knock sensor that you've put on the, on the engine block yourself. Maybe it's not in an ideal place. And... As I said before, you may need to reduce the voltage going into your laptop's mic socket. So that's how that's how I did it, guys. I'm very satisfied with what I did. It gave, in my opinion, a uh, very good results. No guarantees it's going to be effective for what you're doing. I'm just sharing what I did, and I was happy with the results. Your results may be different. So that's the dic disclaimers over, guys. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you again next time.